Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my April favorites. I was about to say monthly favorites. Um, so yeah, let's get started and see all the products that I've been loving for April. Ting! Um, so the first one, I'm actually going to start with color cosmetics. I know I usually start with skincare, but gotta throw you guys for a loop here. Um, and the first product is my Jaclyn Hill Favorites Palette with Morphe brushes. I know I've mentioned this in a video previously, but um, I actually, it's gotten to the point where I have to force myself to um, use any other eyeshadows because this palette literally just has everything. Ugh. This palette literally just has everything you can ask for. Um, clearly, I love that brown color in the center, but it has like pinks, purples, browns, a random green one thrown in there. Um, I think she did an amazing, amazing job in terms of arranging the colors. So um, yeah, I've just been reaching for this palette um, and it's gotten to the point, like I said before, where I have to force myself to use something else. Definitely love the color payoff. They do, a few of them do have fallout, so I would recommend doing your eye makeup first um, and then applying foundation. That way you don't have to like deal with any of that nonsense or you can just brush it away if you're not as high maintenance as I am. Next, I have two products from Mark Cosmetics, and I'm not sure if I've mentioned these in um, previous videos. I feel like I might have. I definitely know I mentioned this in a recent blog post of mine, but this is the Mark On The Edge Liquid Liner. Um, I almost exclusively use, only use liquid liners on my um, lash, on my top lashes. Um, but this one just has like a super fine point. It's so easy to use. I love the flexible tip. The color is a really like intense dark like black color, which I absolutely love and it lasts so long for me. Um, I do have oily lids and I don't have any issues of it kind of like smudging or just breaking apart throughout the day. Another product from Mark Cosmetics that I have been loving is this mascara. It's called Lash Act Mascara and it has a plastic uh, wand which I don't mind with this one but I had purchased the uh, Benefit Roller Lash Mascara because so many people were obsessed with it um, but I just I couldn't really get myself to fall in love with the Benefit Roller Lash especially when I was using this one and it was so much better whenever I use this no matter where I go someone thinks I am wearing false lashes and to me that is like the greatest compliment you can ever give me is when you think I'm wearing false lashes and I'm not because my lashes aren't like you know they're baby lashes they're baby lashes and this one makes them look like not baby lashes so thank you Mark I want to buy stock in these I don't even know if you can do that Next up are blushes. Now that the weather is getting warmer, um, I find myself reaching, actually reaching for blush more. Um, and I'm a go big or go home kind of gal. So the blushes that I've been loving are pretty affordable. They're from um, the drugstore. I believe this is drugstore. I don't even know where you can find it. But the first one um, is NYX uh, Cinnamon. Um, and I don't think the color is showing up properly in this camera because of my lights but it looks like a like fiery orange in the pan but when you apply it it is just like gorgeous at least on my skin tone because I am deeper it doesn't look like a straight up orange um, I do have a picture on my blog from when I reviewed a product and I was wearing it and I it was just like endless compliments with this blush so NYX cinnamon has been a long 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 time favorite um, and I don't see me like not stopping I don't see me stopping wearing it anytime soon that was not English that was not English. The next product or the next blush is by City Cosmetics um, and I don't even know where to get City Cosmetics. I actually picked this up while I was at IMATS um, and I think it was like five dollars so it couldn't have been pricier like retail wise but this blush palette is just stunning. I bought two blushes or two blush palettes from City Cosmetics. There's this one and then there's like a pink um, like theme but I haven't picked that I haven't used that one yet simply because this one has just been fulfilling all of like my needs desires wants um, this shade is actually what I'm wearing today and I use my don't mind how dirty this is please but I use my NARS something something kabuki blush brush I will put the name of it in the description box um, NARS has some crazy ass names for some of their brushes I love you NARS but I can't pronounce it 
Um, but yeah, I was using, I wore, I'm wearing, oh, I'm wearing this blush right here on the um, outside and like, hi. I mean, I've had my makeup on since 10 a.m. and it's now like 4 p.m. Um, but I think it looks like still good if it's the cameras picking up. It's gorgeous. I didn't think this was going to be like as pretty as it was, but I'm like pleasantly surprised. Another one that I'm loving is this one right here. Um, and it's kind of like a pinky orangey shade. Um, if you are terrified of blush, this may not be the palette for you because it is pretty intense color payoff, but I feel like if you're going to apply blush, you might as well apply blush. Moving on to my face, um, NARS, NARS, like I did a full blog post on this and I don't think I've blogged in a long time but this product like got me inspired to blog because it is the all day luminous weightless foundation and it says, I mean it does just what it says, it is so weightless on my skin I apply it and I don't even feel like as if I'm wearing foundation but my skin just looks so so good that like I don't I don't even there are no words there are no words I will link the blog post that I did below so you can take like a full review of this product but I mean it's everything and there's a pump it is really the little things in life that get me so excited but a foundation with a pump and it like makes me look good are you kidding me Nars like this is great thank you thank you for this because I have been wearing it non-stop between this and my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Like I have been looking like a goddess this April. So thank you. Mm. Sorry if my lighting is doing like these weird things, but the sun is now coming out again. And so one side of my face looks good and the other side looks dark. Mm. Anyways, um, the next products, two products, are a combination that has been working for me and when I say it's been working for me it means that I apply my makeup on in the morning and I don't have to worry about looking like a hot ass mess by the evening and that is the Smashbox Primer Water um, I don't know if it's like a placebo effect that I you know use it and I think that my makeup is lasting longer or if it's actually working because there are so many mixed reviews on the internet that now I don't even know what to think for my own self but I love it I will say that I apply it and no matter what like uh, setting mist I use at the end of my makeup, I always, 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 always look like banging by the end of the night. So thank you Smashbox for coming up with this. But I've also been using more setting mists and the one that I find that I've like been reaching more for is the Model in a Bottle Makeup Setting Spray. And this has a matte finish. And since I am oily skin, I do like anything that will leave me matte, but not like flat. And which is why I love the uh, NARS Weightless Foundation because it leaves me a little bit matte, but there's still radiance. So when I apply this, it doesn't like completely like dry me out. Um, but yeah, this like setting spray is amazing. I don't know. I don't remember who online like mentioned this, but I saw it when I went to iMass and I decided to pick it up and I'm so happy I did. I will say, when you missed it on your face, like, keep your eyes closed for like a solid 30 seconds. There was one time where I sprayed it all over my face and then I opened my eyes immediately afterwards and it was kind of like a burning sensation and I thought I was dying. Um, but these two, when I apply them, my makeup looks great from start to finish. Thing. Next up is skincare or three skincare items that I have been like praising all month and just telling anyone with an earshot to uh, try it out and it are it is these three products that I received in the mail. The first one, well no, this one I actually bought during the Sephora VIB sale and it is the Glam Glow Super Cleanse Daily Treatment Cleanser. I purchased this because I've always wanted to try the Glam Glow masks but I don't really do a lot of masks to be completely honest I maybe do them once or twice a month um, and to spend that much money on a mask for me was just kind of like pointless but a cleanser is something that I use every single day um, and this one has really 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 just like kicked ass and like fixed up my skin I was breaking out a lot I don't know what it is um, or what it was but I was just like constantly breaking out and this just completely calmed my skin down um, without leaving my face feeling tight or gross or dry, um, which is a problem that I've been having since winter. 
Um, after I use that, I will tone with my Clinique uh, like toner for oily skin, and then I immediately follow that up with this Murad Advanced Active Radiance Serum. Um, and then I will use the Murad, the complimentary like uh, moisturizer, and it is the Essential C Day Moisturizer, and this has SPF 30 in it. So the two of these together has just been like a godsend for my skin because the fuck was that? Oh, that was a bird. <laughs> um, but yeah, this Murad combination has just been like a godsend for my skin. And my last favorite for the month is actually a book, and it is The Battle of Versailles by Robin Givon, who is a Pulitzer Prize winner. Um, I think she's like the first fashion critic to win a Pulitzer, which is amazing, and I personally love her, so when I found out that she was coming out with this book a few weeks ago, I actually pre-ordered it. Um, I'm not sure when this actually came out. It's either March or April, but I finished reading it in April um, and it is just amazing. Anyone who's interested in fashion, I feel like should pick this up because it talks about the 1973 uh, fashion show that happened in Paris between like the Parisian designers and the American designers, so Oscar de la Renta, Bill Blast, Stephen Burroughs, etc. Um, and it's just an amazing account of what happened. She interviewed some amazing, like, some really amazing and talented people for this book. Um, and so it's great to kind of get that background. Um, and again, if you're into fashion, this is kind of one of those, like, pivotal moments in fashion. It was one of the first shows that featured so many, like, African-American models, um, which is, like, ironic since now no one wants no black girls. Anyways, um, but yeah, this book is just amazing. I suggest you pick it up. I will include it in the description box so you guys can purchase it and be happy. So yeah, The Battle of Versailles, such a great read. Um, very entertaining. Loved it, loved it, loved it. And that is it for my April favorites. Another April favorite, now that I'm rambling, is um, my hair. I can't say it's the full month of April because I purchased this towards the end of the month. I purchased this. I got this towards the end of the month, but it is Marley hair, and it is a ponytail, and I just look stunning in it, so I highly recommend if you are transitioning or if you're natural and you're looking for protective styles, get you some. I mean, look at this. Like, this is just like radiance. I, like, someone at work told me look, I look like an Ethiopian, like, princess or something, and I was like, I love you. I love you so much. Um, so yeah, get you some Marley hair, girl. Like, this ponytail. I have never taken this off. <laughs> never. Um, so that is it for my April favorites. Don't forget to subscribe uh, so you don't miss out on any new videos. Hopefully I'll get better at uploading videos, blah, blah, blah. I know I say that every single month, but I'm trying. I work full time. Um, so yeah, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me also on Instagram and Snapchat because, and Twitter because that is where you will know what I am up to if I'm not on the tube. So yeah, until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Missy Lynn palette. <laughs> Everything works well together here. So the Missy Lynn palette is a palette by BH Cosmetics. They partnered with YouTube Beauty.